Here we're going to show you a basic patient encounter. First we'll select a patient. In this case I'll select myself. Cervical. When the patient is selected you'll see the pre-analysis from the last visit and we'll begin the analysis. You can also see what was adjusted from the last visit as well. We'll then get a analysis for each area and the display the analysis at the end of the area. When you're done with that region of the spine, simply press the button on the impulse head to move to the next area. Lumbar. This analysis is being done at the 15 pound force level, which is the default force level, but you can, if you wish, change that to 10 pounds for older adults or 5 for young children. Sacral. S320. Once the full analysis is complete for the spine, we'll choose up to five vertebra from the analysis itself, which are good candidates for the adjustment. You can adjust these areas if you wish, or skip them. Here we're going to adjust S3, and you can see that we defaulted to a force level of 20 pounds. The default force levels for each area of the spine can be set in the preferences of the program. We show you not only the number of impulses currently, but we also calculate all the impulses for this visit. When you're done adjusting a section or, or an area of the spine, you can actually just press the button and move to the next vertebra. We also have a new timer built into this uh, new version of the software, so you can actually see how long you've spent with the patient. And you can track in the adjusting area here, the green line as that drops down, we're getting less stiffness in the area and more motion, which is what we're looking for. When you press the button, we move to the next uh, vertebra that's in the line for selection, and then we adjust that. We also have a preload indicator in the adjust area that lets you know how much force you're pressing with the adjustment. T1. This way we keep a consistent adjustment between different uh, doctors in the office or uh, for newer doctors to see the consistency of their adjustment. T10 T9 Adjust Once you're done adjusting all of the vertebra, we'll put you into a general adjust area. And here if you wanted to choose other vertebra from the Zero display video. or if you wanted to go ahead and possibly do some protocols with soft tissue, you can do that as well. But here we're going to go right back to the post-analysis. Thoracic. You'll notice that the pre-analysis now moves to the right of the screen and the post is on the left. You'll also notice some new bars that are intersegmental bars uh, between the regular bar graphs. And you'll notice that some of those are indicated Lumbar. in red. This shows where the fixation problem is in each of those areas. And you'll notice on the left, which is now our post-analysis, that we've removed those uh, stiff or fixated areas, and uh, we get to show that very easily and graphically on the screen. The patient can understand this concept very easily with the bar graphs, and so it's very easy to quickly educate the patient. So we spent about four minutes with the patient in this particular uh, pre-analysis, adjustment, and post-analysis. We'll end the session, and we're complete.